Welcome to another Adobe Connect trading video. In the previous videos, we've covered getting started, sharing video, and sharing content. Now we'll be exploring the notes pod, the chat pod, and the attendees list since each is relatively self-explanatory. Once logged into the meeting room, a pod is created by navigating to the pods menu and choosing the desired pod. We'll start with the notes pod. The notes pod can be used to leave a message for the users in the meeting room. It could be a greeting, reminder, or when the meeting is set to start. You simply type your message into the box. The text can be edited using the options found on the top of the notes pad. As an aside, any pod can be resized by dragging a side or corner of the pod. A pod can be moved by dragging its top bar. Next we have the attendees list. Pull up the list like any other pod. This pod is straightforward besides a few features, which will be covered in later videos. The attendees list is used to control the users in the meeting room. By mousing over a user, you can change their role in the meeting space. For explanation of the different roles, check out the host trading PDF available on our website. Finally, we have the chat pod. The chat pod is again opened like any other pod. Type into the box and hit enter to send a message. The options menu in the top right gives more flexibility. You are able to start a chat with a specific group of users if you wish. To close this chat, hit the X in the bottom region of the pod. The options menu also allows you to customize the appearance of your text. This could be the size or the color. Thank you for watching this short tutorial and be sure to check out our website at mediaservices.wustl.edu.